right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, by the title, you already know what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to be talking about the new Harley Davidson Bronx. And whoa, what a name. Being a New Yorker, I love that name right there. The Bronx. So it's Harley Davidson's new Street Fighter bike, their naked bike. And in my opinion, looks great. And I think it's very innovating that Harley Davidson is introducing something new to the line, something that's totally outside of their realm. Um, obviously, you know, Harley Davidson is known for their cruiser bikes. But now Harley Davidson is bringing out the live wire, the all electric bike. They're bringing out the Bronx, which is their Street Fighter naked bike. They're bringing out the Pan America, which is their adventure bike. And they are soon to be coming out with more models. Super exciting, super different. Um, I guess competition was finally kind of giving them a little run for their money because they're kind of stepping out of the realm and they're going into the market now of something where they never, never touch base on. Now, in my opinion, I think Harley Davidson is offering these products to the public because obviously these are the main type of motorcycles that in the last few years, last uh, two to five years, have been excelling in sales for certain brands. Uh, especially when it comes to adventure bikes. Adventure bikes right now are like, I think adventure bikes are like, they're gonna be the new wave. Right now the wave is naked bikes. And the naked bikes have been the wave for the last five years or so. And even now they're, they're just making even more and more noise. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because you guys know that I've been shopping around for a sport bike or a naked bike. And how ironic that right now as I'm looking for a naked bike, Harley Davidson's about to drop their naked bike um it's not going to drop right now from what we know is going to be dropping mid 2020 towards the end of the year most likely in the summertime who knows it could be before they could just throw a little curveball at us and just launch at us at any point now one question i gotta ask is is it too late is harley davidson late to the race with the bronx are they trying to hop on the bandwagon or do they actually see a big future in this type of motorcycle in my opinion I think I think there's I think there's a future in it. I think what Harley Davidson right now is doing is great. They're expanding their how do you say mm, portfolio. They're reaching out to all different types of consumers, not even the United States, but around the world. Which to them, I think that's their number one goal right now is to meet that number around the world. They they need to hold the public because these other brands right now. Um, I'm telling you, like. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna go back to the adventure thing because I think what BMW right now is doing with all their adventure bikes is pretty cool. I know they're 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 dropping the new um, S1000 XR for 2020, and in my opinion, I I've never looked at an adventure bike until I saw that bike, and that bike looks amazing. Not to say that the Pan America doesn't look great, because in my opinion, the Pan America is honestly one of the coolest looking adventure bikes there is. In my opinion, I'm, I'm not I'm not a, an adventure bike guru. I really don't know uh, the whole summary of them. I know a little bit of them, but what I can say is that I do like the path that they're taking with this. Uh, the designs are definitely there, and I cannot wait to see what the future is gonna entail with all these bikes. Now, back to the Bronx. Yeah, back to the Bronx, where I used to live at. Nah, 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 nah. Back to the Bronx, the Harley Davidson Bronx. All right, so Harley Davidson is gonna drop their new engine in this bike, and they're calling it the Revolution Mech engine, I believe. It's a liquid-cooled V-twin engine pushing out 975 cc's, which is pretty cool. It sounds like it's gonna be a powerful bike, and I cannot wait to hear the type of sound that is gonna come out of that exhaust. That engine is probably gonna sound amazing. Now this engine is projected to have 115 horsepower, pushing out uh, 70 pounds of foot torque. So it's it, it sounds like it's gonna be something, a bit of a threat. Now that's basically all the information we have for now. That's everything that they have put out. I have seen the new trailer and it looks pretty cool. The bike is supposed to come out of all black. It has the one with the red tank. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a few more color palettes to go along with this, so I cannot wait for that. Now let's talk about design. The bike, in my opinion, looks great. I think they knocked it out the park with this. Certain little things that I'm not too crazy about. Um, we'll start with the front. The headlight, I'm not crazy on 
the formation of it, how it's placed. Um, maybe they might be able to integrate that a little differently. Maybe, um, I'm pretty sure aftermarket parts are gonna be out there later on where you're gonna be able to swap the headlight out because I'm not crazy about it. Um, the speedometer, it's kind of like your uh, sports speedometer. It's gonna be right in the front, right in front of you. And I'm real, really, really interested in knowing if it's gonna be a digital analog on it or not, or is it gonna be like your basic sports speedometer where it's like just turns on and that's it. Now the tank design to me looks pretty cool. I like the way it just shakes back right in front of you. And it, it has some real nice looking lines on it. The seat from the pictures and the videos that I've seen looks like it might be a little comfortable, but I'm not too crazy about it. That's another thing that I would probably later on like to see what aftermarket is to have for it is a new seat. Now I gotta say, the design of the exhaust looks pretty badass. I really like the way it just looms up the side and it pops right out. It, it, it looks, the design is definitely there with the exhaust. Now another thing that I want this bike to have is obviously LED lights all around. At this point, Harley Davidson is making all the bikes with their LED headlights, except for the sports lineup yet. Um, but with all these new bikes coming in as well, guys, that's something that I think that's gonna be, how can I say, substituting the sports line with all these new bikes. So now we got the Bronx. Um, we got a few other bikes that are gonna come around in the next year or 2021 that are gonna have a small displacement type of engine. And I think that these are gonna be the bikes that are gonna be taking over the uh, sports to lineup. Now, who am I to say? I'm just a kid in a garage here talking shit. Another thing that I'm a big fan of are the tires. So you have that thick tire in the back from the looks of it. It might be like a 180 or a 190. If, it was a, if it's a 190, it's gonna look pretty badass. Uh, the front tire also looks like it's a pretty nice chunk of thick tire in the front, but not too much. So that looks pretty good as well. Um, overall, I think the bike looks really good. I just cannot wait to see it in person. December 6th, 7th, and 8th, we have the New York International Motorcycle Show. So I'm gonna be there. Hopefully, all these new bikes will be there. I wanna see them in person. Um, it's gonna be, obviously, a different different view. Hopefully, I get uh, to sit on them and give you guys a new overview, give you a little review while I'm there of the bike. And I also hope to see some of you guys there as well. Um, I cannot wait for that super set for that show. We're probably like three or four weeks out from there. With that being said, I want you guys to drop all your thoughts, all your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Bronx. Is it something that you like? Is it something that Harley Davidson is doing too different um, than what you're used to seeing? Do you think they're going in the right path? Do you not think? What do you think? Drop your comments down below. Let me know everything you think about this bike. Um, like always guys, if you're new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell button, it's going to notify you anytime I upload a new video. And um, also, with that being said, I ordered the new seat for the bike, it's coming in, well I got the email today. The email said that it's going to be arriving December 4th, which is a pretty long time. Um, but I ordered the Saturman seat, two-up seat, uh, with the diamond stitching on it, I cannot wait. Um, so that's gonna be an install video, so wait around for that. If you're into this bike right here, this is my baby, and if you wanna see me mod this bike out over the next few months, you're in the right place. Like I mentioned before, I just spit out, I think I did, yeah. Like I mentioned before, if you're new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, guys, ride safe and enjoy the ride.